Question 22 asks us to continue using what we knew in question 21, only now we're trying to figure out the coefficient of friction between the block and the surface. So now we need to sum the forces in the y direction. Summing the forces in the y direction, we get that the net force in the y direction equals the force normal, which is positive because it's up, plus the force applied in the y direction, the other component of the force applied only in the y direction, also up, so positive, minus the force of gravity, and that whole thing is equal to the mass times the acceleration in the y direction. Now it's not moving up or down, so it's not accelerating in the y direction, so that whole formula works out to be equal to zero. Solving for the force normal, we get that the force normal is equal to the force of gravity minus the force applied in the y direction. We can substitute the equation for the force of gravity, mass times the acceleration due to gravity, minus the force applied in the y direction. Again, the component's just going to be force applied times the sine of theta. When the x direction is cosine, in the y direction it's going to end up being equal to sine. The equation for the force of kinetic friction is that it's equal to the coefficient of kinetic friction times the force normal. We're looking for the coefficient of kinetic friction, so we solve for that. It's just going to be the force of kinetic friction divided by the force normal. Substituting in F, which is a symbol they're using for the force of kinetic friction, and substituting in what we figured out for the force normal, mass times acceleration due to gravity minus the force applied, they just use a capital F, multiplied by the sine of theta. The correct answer is E.